I was born and raised. Samantha Eloff, a 17-year-old with a love of fashion, was the perfect fit for a job at clothing store Abercrombie & Fitch, with one exception. She wears a headscarf. She could not remove her headscarf for a job interview without remaining true to herself, and Abercrombie refused to hire her because she was true to her religious beliefs. Abercrombie and Fitch argues it did not object to Eloff's headscarf for religious reasons, but because it would not fit in with the company's strict dress code policy for employees. Zainab Chowdhury, who is at the Supreme Court to support Eloff, understands the challenges of wearing a headscarf. You never know if, you know, the reason that you aren't hired for a job is because of the hijab versus something else. Um, I have had prospective employers ask me questions about my faith, about my background. A lawyer for Eloff says that the implications of a ruling in favor of the retailer could allow all employers to discriminate against people of any faith. They'll be able to not hire persons they perceive of a religious faith they do not like or does not promote their brand image. Thank you all for coming. The We're Supreme Court will rule on the uh, case in May. Catherine Gibson, VOA News at the U.S. Supreme Court.